Well, welcome back everybody to the Elder Scrolls Online with Malara Falconsvane. We are actually heading on out to try and discover where some of our lost mages are. Uh, I vaguely remember there being a chest up in this area. I'm just going to try and find it. Okay, sometimes it's up in there. I think that was the spot. I could be a bit wrong. So we're going to travel until we... Oh, no, there it is. There we go. Right next to this. I forgot about him. Alright, these things are going to be a little bit harder to kill until we level up, and we're going to need to do some serious leveling. I suppose it's a very good thing, then, that in a couple of days... Thank you. We're going to be able to, um, to join in on the exp exp expedition event exploration event that's coming in. Tomorrow. Alright, looks like I'm going to have to try it again. Intermediate. We're a little out of practice. Beautiful. Let's go. All right. So did we get anything we want to put on? We definitely want to put the Blessed Gauntlets on. Let's get them going. The Hide Belt of Magicka? No, we'll leave that. Radio. Now, the trick with finding everyone, you very often find in these areas that there are roads that lead to seemingly dead ends. If we zoom in, we can see there's a building at the end of this one. So we're going to head down, we're going to grab this one first, and then we might just work our way around, and we'll go and do this one. And then we'll work our way over to here, and we'll go and do that. And then we'll go to here and do that, and then we'll go all the way up here to, to do that. So we do have a plan. We just have to, you know, remember to follow it. Let's go. And we probably... I think that nice little thing wants me to follow it. We'll just grab this. It'll wait for us. Sorry, picking mushrooms. I don't. Looking for chests. Chests are good. We need to find as many of them as we can. Vile Laboratory. Discovered. Well, let's go up that way then. Oh, we're here? We are definitely here. I can't go on like this. Fine. We... we can't go on like this. Just grab the heavy crate. Heavy crates are similar to heavy sacks, but uh, Cold Harbor style. Alright, let us commence this episode's adventure, Gadris. I'll handle this, sir. You can come out and see in a moment. So, someone has come to help us at last. Are you talking to yourself? We're out here in the middle of Cold Harbor, and that's the best question you can come up with. <laughs> I'm most definitely not talking to myself. I'm speaking to the alchemist. Be quiet, you mangy cat. I can't hear myself think with all that racket. I don't see anyone else here. Patience, sir. I'll explain everything. Okay. I am with the Mages Guild. I can we see We stepped that. through the portal and wound up in this vile laboratory. Daedra experimented on us. They merged Ooh. our two souls. Now we're wasting away as this soul meld kills us. Maybe I can help? Ah, to mage. see out of Khajiit eyes again. The it's being caged in that dark place. You must be the alchemist. Yes, this one is pretty famous. Perhaps you have heard of Zer. But I Zer, have now. I must tell you, this soul meld is killing us. 
Will you help us? Will you unmeld our souls? What do you need me to do? Unmeld this soul to a word. Pardon. The dwarven device that caused this is inside the laboratory. But Robo blocks the way. Mm -hmm. Collect Zar's notes and a bottle of pearl tincture. With those, this one can make a potion that will get you past the rubble. I'll find your notes in the tincture, but I have a few questions. Questions are good. Ask and ask again. That is the systematic method of experimentation. Remember that you must know the rules before you can successfully break them. Were you part of the expedition to Cold Harbor? Oh, yes. We came to defeat the evil Moloch Ball. Or was it uh, Mene Marco? There for kids. <laughs> so many bad things start with the letter M. <laughs> but something went wrong and Godress and this one ended up here. That's when the Daedra melted our souls. Can you just teleport me inside? Unfortunately, no. The soul melt weakens us. And we must conserve our strength. With the recipe and the ingredients, this one can make a transmutation potion and exert almost no energy whatsoever. A much better approach at this time, yes? Were you part of the expedition to Cold Harbor? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Can I speak with Gadris again? You have no idea what it feels like to have a Khajiit scratching around inside your head. How did your notes and supplies get scattered? I know you said you were sorry, but the question has been asked. <laughs> One of us is disorganized and enjoys experimenting with dwarfen machinery. Oh, the resulting no. explosion reduced the entryway to a pile of rubble <laughs> and sent our supplies in all directions. What happened to the other mages? A few of us arrived together, but only the alchemist and I survived the experiments. Oh no. Zer's explosion had one with. desirable side effect. It destroyed our Dremora captors. We have information vital to the mages' guild. Should we escape this predicament? Will you be all right here? Safe enough. We'll make our way to the entryway. We can manage a simple illusion to mask our presence. I wish we weren't so weak, however. I never realized. Never realized what? I never realized how my ability to perform magic defined me. Now that I cannot do the things that once came so easily to me, I almost don't know who I am. Having a talking cat inside my head doesn't help much either. I hear you. That's uh, an incredible predicament. Why don't um, we find... Okay, first things first. We are going to click on one of these markers and make it our primary quest. So when we go back out here, we're going to find the Soul Meld Mage as our primary quest. But also we're going to be able to see where his teachers and notes are scattered. Great. I mean to go back down to the road. Alrighty. And then we might work our way from left to right. That doesn't look promising. I don't wish to defeat a world boss at level 17. I mean, I don't think I could defeat... Oh, we might have defeated this one at level... Oh! Hello, you don't look friendly. I thought they said they'd kill, well maybe they killed the torturers, they just didn't kill anyone outside the thing. Uh, a note, a letter to Zamarak Thul. The feud continues, you miserable bucket of bolts. You insult me Zamarak and that I cannot forgive. Lunch again on Midas? So cat will. Right, we did defeat the Bucket of Bolts. I don't wish to do it with this character. And we're trying to focus. We'll have some high iron ore, she says. Grab that. I see. We're going to have to deal with that vampire. But there is a bookcase. We might learn something as well. Apart from how nasty these things are. No spewing. It's a zombie, not a vampire. Right. Transmutation of living creatures, the use of a pearl tincture, radio, and a bookshelf. 
Aura of the Righteous. Okay, I've got this. There is a purpose to them. Alright, I found one note. Dawn's Wrath has increased. Oh, look, let's go. Looks like someone's over there, happily farming undead things. A swarming zombie! Oh, goody, I picked on... They're just watching to see if I've got it. Thank you guys for look, for looking out for me. I appreciate it. Use the flesh heap. Ugh. Alrighty. I'm going to grab this potion recipe. I'm going to come over here and deal with this guy. No. Ew. I know. I did not move. I got vomited on. These things are gross. Okay, where's the next recipe? To my, to my this way, radio. Looks like we're gonna have to go up here. We might as well defeat all of these and get a little bit of XP. What? You don't like being dead, and now you're torturing me get out of there. That's the rubble blocked hallway caused by some curious Khajiiti. Curiosity does kill more than cats. That looks like a swarming zombie. Uh, yeah look let's have some fun. I know, right? Oh, and apart from food, what did these guys find inside the flesh heap? That looks like just in front of my... Oh, right. Still Greaves of Health. I might check those out and see if they're worth putting on. I mean, I know where we got them from and I'm not looking forward to scraping all that off, but... You know how it goes. That is a thief's trove and we will have it. Missed me. Nope. Uh, I hate it when they do that. They're putting those on. I know they're stolen. Um, we're gonna have to fix that later. Still greaves of health. Let's uh, let's pop those on. It we do we don't we don't get experience from kills, but it looks like our armor goes up. I really think we probably need that right now. Uh, you know what else we forgot to do? Let's just see. Right click enchant. Nope. Uh, I think I had a weapon enchantment. No, I don't. Sure. I don't know if I just destroyed my, my thing or not. That's okay, there's something to pick, some jute. A rock. Ah, he did see me. Oh well, what a shame. <laughs> A bit of high iron ore. We are getting there. Oh, well, hello. I guess I'm going to have to fight you then. This 
serum of health, huh? Psst, over here. <laughs> this one used an illusion spell. Very little effort. Oh, um, sir? It is good to be out and about. Ah, Code Haba is an inhospitable place, but this one is adaptable. What are you doing here? Zer thought this was where he left the tincture, so I came to investigate. Don't tell Gadras that Zer was here. A simple illusion spell protected me, but Godris gets worried. Me? I like to explore. It must be strange sharing your body with someone else. This one has always enjoyed trying new and different things. But this situation, it is very strange, very awkward. Is that thought me, sir? Or me, Godris? <laughs> this one can never be certain where his thoughts end and Godris's begin. Uh, very confusing, yes? Yes. Now I saw... Right, we'll grab that while we're here. Another law book. It's a day for it, isn't it? Nearly missed an entire bookshelf, though. Presets of Stendar. The restoration staff increased on that one. Now, where are we going? Oh, and I gained a skill line. So this is why you read the books, guys. So that you can get new skill lines. And increase them. Ah, uh, you again? Alright, we're fine. Okay. We're gonna go this way now. Well, okay then. Flesh flies. Where were they? There. It's just like a flicker of shadow. And that's just a distinctive shape and colour, even in Gold Harbour. These things, the mirrors rot. And then we have some high iron ore. Alright, it looks like we're into the vile laboratory. Let's see how we go. Zar told you our friend would find the scatters. You worry too much. We've increased our bow by reading a book. Zer. Godris is upset because we had to hide behind some rocks. <laughs> Undignified, he said. Well, Zer says that being eaten by a deformed creature is even more undignified. I have the things you asked for. Quiet, Godris. This one knows what he's doing. This is most frequent work, my friend. Most fragrant. Zar shall draft the potion immediately. It should make you slightly smaller. Certainly small enough to squeeze through the rubble. How long will I remain small? Long enough to slip into the laboratory. A few minutes, uh, give or take. Now, let Zar think. Was it uh, six or seven drops of tincture? I hope you know what you're doing. Right. Zer thinks he saw some dried scathe crow over here. Ah, yes, here it is. Ah, Zer's finest potion yet. You will drink it now, yes? Uh, do I have to? You crazy kitty? Okay. This grows more taxing by the hour. Yes. Gadris. Here is the potion. 
I hope Zer didn't cut any corners. He would never but knowing would. him, it probably tastes terrible. So this is the potion that will make me small? Yes, sir. I'll be sure to mention it. I am not a mixer of potions, and I don't want to debate the merits of alchemy with Zer again. <laughs> but the cat knows what he's doing. Inside, look for my notebook. It lists what you need to craft the antipodal rods. The antipodal what? Rods that will reverse the soul meld. Oh. Just find the components and craft the rods. We will try to recuperate and regain enough strength to teleport ourselves inside. If you have questions, please ask them before you drink the potion. Tell me what I need to do once I get inside. Find the metallurgy workshop. My notebook should be there, placed neatly on a workbench. It contains a list of what you need to create the antipodal rods. Gather the items and craft the rods. I'm not sure I understand these antipodal rods. Oh, very well. Zer reminds me that time is short, <laughs> so I will try to be brief. The rods form two opposing forces that should create a negative energy vortex. In theory, the Vortex will unlink the strands that bind our souls and set us free. And you want me to forge something? It shouldn't be a problem. The laboratory has a forge. Just follow the directions and apply the proper catalyst. Okay. The rods should be able to withstand the reversal process. After you forge the rods, meet me by the Overseer's Atelier. I'll drink the potion now. The potion will work, you'll see. And know that I am grateful for your help. We both are. All right. <sighs> oh! <laughs> Do we become a monkey? I forgot about that. All right. Uh, let's use that. Whoa, nimble we are, aren't we? We don't have to become roast monkey. I mean, I'm sure that's delicious, but it's probably not our best bet, is it? Let me see if I can get my monkey to run up the pipe like it's meant to. Come on, monkey. There you go. Oh, yeah, you get nimble. Nimble, Get nimble or get fried. Uh, I think we'll take nimble. Let's go. Whoa, that was close. Very close. All right, complete the metal edge. Complete, okay, read Gadris' notebook. Ugh. A new Malachite would not have the connectivity. The base components require our chemical catalyst to merge the properties. And I would say, to pray to my ancestors and the tribunal, that is something we can find within this vile laboratory. Okay, gather ebony ore, crystalline essence, and refined avoid salts. Of course they're over where the zombies are. Oh, but there's also a bookshop here, so I guess it's not all bad news, right? I know, I actually have to um, watch my health with this one. I mean, the other one, it was a little bit easier, so I could be a little bit more blasé, because I had the... Um, had the hit points and things to actually to actually deal with it. Right, that's that's good. Let's grab that. Episode of the Ansei Wards. So what do we get here? The refined void salts. Well that'll do. Sounds good. One hand and shield is increased, that's very good. The ebony ore. 
in the middle of a pond of gunk. Of course it is. Oh, all right. We might as well take this guy on. What else have we got over here? Nothing really exciting. Okay, gotcha. A dwarven spider. Well, you got to make sure that they're outlined in red, otherwise you lose your ability to hit them. And sometimes those things explode. Is that a bookcase? Call to the faithful. Our light armor has increased to 10 from reading the book. There's our crystalline essence. Uh, Matrix. Alright, if I don't have to fight him, I'm going to avoid him just for the minute. But uh, let's take it over to our mages. Here we go. Catalyst. teleport spell worked. This one is here. Be careful, friend. The dwarven constructs have of ever finding a solution. Even Zer's usual unfounded optimism cannot seem to lift. I shall not dash Zer's hope. But disorganized as he can be, I find some small comfort in his blind faith. What am I doing? I need to gather some corrupted blood. Oh, well, fine then. Are you sure I can't gather it from... Oh dear. So it looks like our mage is actually starting to like... I'll just try not to fight too many things at once here. Did I just... Oh. I know, I, I flipped to the other... Um, I flipped to the... <laughs> I flipped to the other... Uh, weapon set, that was a bit embarrassing. Let me see if I can have a little moment to maybe enchant my equipment. Okay, nothing there. Add that in. That's already got an enchantment. All right. I don't think he's going to let me have this blood, is he? And let's go, a little bit of milling. Doesn't hurt anybody. Well, except these big fellas here. Buzz card. Well, now it's dead card. Corrupted blood, what's in the urn? Ooh, we found a recipe. I like those things so much. Ah, oh, these poor people. These were mages. That's what you did to my mages? Oh. Bring him back, I want to kill him again. <laughs> The constructs have moved away from the... All this skulking around, using up valuable energy on apprentice-level illusions. I grow ever more weary. Even Zer's enthusiasm is ebbing. I've got the corrupted blood. I'm afraid to hope too much. But you've made such progress. Perhaps we shall end this torment after all. We can try. The constructs have moved off. The forge area is clear. At least for the moment. What do I need to do at the forge? Melt the components in the furnace. Okay. Then craft two rods from the mixture. Gotcha. There is an anvil near the furnace. Be careful, though. The mixture can be volatile. Understood. The machine that merged us is further on in the overseer's atelier. We'll meet there. All right. I hear you. get these rods done okay we've melted the components this weapon anvil I'm not close enough there we go I'm not close enough that's what it was that was not promising 
I know, I could get some XP here. What I'm going to try and do is get past things without causing a disruption. We can do this. We did do it. There we go. Alrighty. We may have to do a bit of farming to level up our character, I think. Or we could just follow the adventure and get all the farming we need. <laughs> Excellent. S taught. Ah, uh, right, that's a dead end. Alright, we need to take this door. I can't say I'm sad, but these things are not fun. Oh, really? There's two of them? keep forgetting to use my soul meld thing too, that really helps. Dwarven gear. Okay. I know now I'm going to be hard to see past. No, nope, that doesn't help. Oops, <laughs> hit my mouse a little hard then. <laughs> All right. Teleportation was never this difficult before. The spell took so much out of me, I was afraid we would never materialize. But Zer has the key to this room. He acquired it shortly after we'd got here. Were you able to craft the antipodal rods? I followed your directions. What will the rods do? We are so close. You need to use the rods to activate the dwarven device that performed the soul meld. Oh, and the crystal. I'm getting as careless as Zer. Uh, You're exhausted. Look for a glowing crystal. The overseer placed it in the machine to power the device. Place the crystal and insert the rods. Got it. And this will separate the two of you. Ah, uh, well, in a manner of speaking, understand that Zer and I do not have two separate bodies to return to. But oh. if this works, the soul meld won't kill the both of us. What happens to you? The magic will separate the intertwined strands of our souls. But only one of us will survive the process. Do not be dismayed. We rejoice at a chance for one of us to survive. Go on ahead. We will meet you inside momentarily. Can I ask a few questions? Stop shouting, Zer. What? Oh, yes, of course. No, you're right. Zer reminds me that you have been most helpful and we need to rest anyway. So I decided not to cut you off with a snide retort. Please accept my apologies and ask your questions. Why does having the two souls weaken you so badly? Based on our own experience, it appears that merging two souls into one vessel causes an internal storm as the souls vie for control. It takes all of our mental fortitude to maintain our individual personalities. What if we can't reverse the soul now? Then nature takes its course, but at least we will have tried to beat this. Mm -hmm. At least one of us has a chance to survive, and know that, however this ends, I am grateful for the aid you have provided us. Which one of you will survive the process? If the device works the way I expect, then the person operating it will decide which of our souls survives the reversal process, and which is discarded. I guess it will be up to you to choose who lives. And who dies? You know, you're the second person who wants me to do that. It's, is it my perfume? How do I choose which of you to save? Well, I could make a strong case as to why I should be the one to survive. My qualifications, my experience, my worth to the Mage's Guild. 
But the truth is, I have grown fond of Zer. My right to survive is no greater than his. I cannot advise you. I'll, um, I'll meet you inside. Zer? The overseer's in there. He put us into this dwarven machine. He's dangerous. I'm sorry it's come to this. Do not worry. This one is not afraid. The process can be reversed. Our research tells us this. Zer is optimistic. Mm -hmm. And if I die, then it is just on to another adventure, yes? Sir, you're too kind. If it comes down to my decision, which one of you should I choose? We are very different. Zer has learned much sharing a dark elf's mind. <laughs> you Kashit experience such a wonder, yes? Yes. Godress will do many great things, provided the unmelding works. And so will Zer. But this one would never choose himself over another. Will the reversal work? Some theoretical extrapolations are what Godris excels at, and this one's experiments support his research. We believe the device can be forced to unmeld our souls. In any event, we won't survive the soul meld. At the very least, we must try. Anything I need to know about the next room? What's that? Yes, Zer will pass that along. No. Quiet, please. <laughs> These two. The overseer's in there. Oh. He put us into this dwarven machine. He's dangerous. Many of the constructs that roam this place are under his control. Godress recommends killing him quickly. Very well. Oh, man, take care, you guys. All right. The overseer and killing him quickly, huh? Search the Overseer. Steel girdle of stamina. We've got this. One light of Meridia. Oh, you know I have to. You know. Bookshelf. The source of the bone, the bow increased. Oh boy, that is a big thing. This one must admit that you will miss our time together. Immune to being pushed back, it's not immune to the spear itself. Zur. I'm not close enough. This one can't believe you crossed this chamber without so much as an illusion to mask your presence. You are That's so brave. <laughs> this one. Zer's whiskers were twitching inside the Dark Elf's head. You must have enjoyed that. What do I do next? Next comes the exciting part. You test our theory. See those two pillars? One represents Zer, the other Godress. Insert the antipodal rods and turn on the device. If it works, you should be able to separate our melted souls. But I can only restore one of you. Yes. As we have explained, one body, one soul. At least one of us will survive to help the mages guild. This one knows you will make the right decision. Place the crystal oh, into the machine. Then insert an antipodal rod into each pillar to start the unmelding process. All right. Crystal. Left rod. Please, hurry. Kay. One of us must be saved. 
Oh my gosh. Now I know in one of them I actually restored the mage. Let me just go. 1 to 3 on my d6 is uh, the mage and 4 to 6 is the kitty. Looks like this time we're restoring the kitty cat. Oh gosh. Alright. Good bike address. <gasps> I'm so sorry. How strange this feels. To be simply there again is lonely. Are you alright? There is fine. At least, there thinks it is true. This <laughs> one feels strangely empty. This one is there again. But, thanks to my time with Godris, this one is also different. What will you do now? There wants very much to leave this place. Me the bad memories. The door is nearby. It will open from this side. Meet us. Uh, me. Outside. My abilities grow stronger already. This one can create a portal to somewhere safe. Once we are outside. I'll meet you outside. <sighs> Let me grab the crystal. The light of Meridia. Gonna need that, I've been told. Of course it's behind the big mean monster. Oh, I've already woken it up. Alright, fine. I thought I braced for that. I know, and this is why you don't stand in the red zones, guys, because you hurt your character, and they don't like it. Cold Harbor. Back to the wonderful Cold Harbor. Look at that. The drop. I forgot about that. Let me see if we can... Drop out on if I miss the thing already all together. Zer. Zer's mind feels empty. Silent. I miss Godris already. You mentioned information for the Major's Guild earlier. During our time together, we determined that the Dwarven device operates on the same principles as Molagbar's plane mail. Zer will honor the Dark Elves' memory and give him credit for this discovery. Thank you again for saving us, my friend. Well, at least one of you. This one is strong enough to open a portal now. We shall go to this hollow city Zer has heard so much about. The portal shall remain open for only a few minutes, my friend. Zer hopes to see you again in the hollow city. Very well. Guys, that is the end of this episode. We start where we began. If you enjoyed it, please hit like. If you want to see more, please hit subscribe. I'll check you later. Take care out there.